with another of his whip cracking swings. The ball streaks for the left field stands in a sudden hurry. And Samoli gives up the chase as it sails on into the visiting bullpen. The Yankees lead eight to nothing. Next, Mickey Mantle smashes a drive to left field for a base hit. As Philippe Balloon feels the ball, it takes a high hop. Trish slides into third, and Mantle races on to second. Mickey Mantle opens the Yankee first with a drag bunt. Johnson makes a great try for it, but takes a tumble as... There's a drive into right field. And Clemente comes on to grab it. That's the second hit off Law, the first hit by Mantle. And the batter will be Yogi Berra, who was robbed of a base hit. Bagley works carefully. The count reaches two and two. And then Mantle hammers the ball down the right field line and into the stands, only a few feet fair. The Yankees lead one to nothing. It's a scoreless game as Mickey Mantle triples with one out in the fourth inning. Simmons next pitch. Mantle pours all his power into his swing. And there it goes over the roof in right center as Shannon watches from below. It's the 17th World Series homer for Mantle and the back-to-back -back wallops. And powers a 390-foot homer into the center field stand. Mantle first up beats out a drag bunt. Colfax gets his sign. Mickey takes a terrific count at a first pitch fastball, and there it goes. It sails over the 380 foot marker, and that ties the score at one and one. That's the 15th World Series homer for Mantle, tying the record. His next problem is Mantle. He slashes a single over second that tallies Kubek and Maris, and the Yankees are away to a 3 0 lead. After looking at one pitch, the slugger pounds the next one into the center field feature. His second homer of the series and seventh in postseason play. And this plucky performer smashes a sizzling line shot to left center that has both Pinson and Post in hot pursuit. And Maris takes third. Manager Hawk decides that the courageous Mantle has Mantle gone. swinging from the right side, singles to right. Shannon fumbles the ball, and Mantle breaks the second. But Mike recovers quickly and throws him out. Meanwhile, Richardson scores. Bagley gets one strike on Mantle, and there it goes over the right field fence across Bedford Avenue and deep into a parking lot. Slaughter scores ahead of Mantle, and the Yankees have a quick two to nothing lead. After two out in the Yankee ninth, Mickey Mantle smashes a long drive to right field. It bounces off the fence, and Mickey races into second with a double. Maris, after Barris fly, Mantle connects for a terrific wallop deep into the left field stands for a home run to score in back of Bauer and send his team into the lead four to two. One out, Mantle singles to left center, sending Bauer speeding into third. Mickey Mantle follows with another home run, a line shot into the front rows of the bleachers in left center, and the American League followers in the crowd rock the rafters and frenzy. Mantle tops a pitch by Labine and beats it out for an infield hit. Power moves to second. Pitching style is reminiscent of Dizzy Dean. Just keeps firing free and easy. Mantle belts a powerful drive to left center. It sails deep into the bleachers for an opposite field home run. Number three of the series. Number 18 overall for Mickey to expand the all-time record he already holds. 
as the ground ball hit out to Groot and through. And here comes Richardson around third to score. Kubek on his way to third. And it is a four to two ball game. As Mantle comes through with his second hit. For Pittsburgh in the seventh. Two on and one out as Mantle rockets a tremendous drive to right center field. Burden goes back, 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 and then watches, of course, in utter amazement as the ball sails high over the 436-foot sign. No other right-handed batter ever cleared the wall at that point. Three more runs cross the plate on this blast. There's no doubt where this one's going, and the American League champs increase their edge to 7-1 to on the homer. It's number nine for Mickey in World Series play. Mantle wallops Meyer's first pitch for a grand slam home run into the upper left field stand, making the score Yankees six, Dodgers one. Who were left hand batters. There's a liner to left center for a base hit. Here comes McDougal rounding third, coming in to score as Snyder's throw goes into Reese. The magnificent Mickey. Mickey Mantle levels on one for a homer to right field, scoring Maris ahead of him. It's number 12 for Mantle in World Series play, breaking a previous tie with Duke Snyder and putting him only three behind Babe Ruth, the greatest slugger of them all. The Yankee margin is now five to one. And there's a shot grab by Nelson, steps on first, and Mantle gets back to first, he's safe, and McDougal scores the tying run on an amazing turn of events. On a hard shot by Barra, Nelson grabbed the ball, stepped on first, and Mantle, with quick thinking, Stopped in his track, slid underneath the tag, got back to first as McDougal scored the tying run. How about that? Nothing Yanks. And John Rutherford comes in in the eighth to pitch for the Dodgers. Mantle gets one he likes for a tremendous drive over Snyder's head in dead center field. More than 440 feet from the plate. It's a three. continues on home when Reese throws wild on the play. It's still two to one for the Braves when Mantle lines a single over short at the start of the Yankee six. Mantle hits a high fly ball. It's deep left center field. It's way out there. It's way out there and it is in there. I mean it's in there. There's a line drive in the right center field for a base hit. Richardson will score along around second and goes on into third. And it's nine to eight as Mantle comes through with his third. One. Here's the payoff pitch. This is it. There it goes. It's out of here. There's a fly ball out to right field. That ball is 